Hey guys, welcome back, your fun here. If you are a YouTuber or into any sort of content creation involving voiceovers and are looking for a microphone that is cheap, has good sound quality and most importantly, doesn't require external power, then well, I'm looking for that too. And uh, what I have today is the Fifine or Fifine, I don't know how to pronounce it, uh, K056 USB stereo microphone from GearBest, which goes for $28. Let's unbox it and do some testing to see if it's worthy to be my new regular microphone. If gadget reviews, DIY projects and life hacks are your thing, then consider subscribing to my booth and turn on the bell notification so you don't miss out on any of the action. The box is pretty simple, nothing other than the brand name. Inside the box we have the microphone. Now I got the white one with a silver mesh. The other available color was black body with a golden mesh. There's a user guide, a 2.5 meter long uh, XLR to USB cable. Uh, you can practically go to the other room to record it, so long. Uh, a small tripod, a clamp with an adjustable neck and a pop filter also known as windscreen. Let's have a look at the microphone. Now it's uh, quite a decent size, a, almost exactly same as the other condenser microphones available out there. Relatively heavy as well, which is a good sign. It's all metal, uh, there's a brand name here. Let me just point out something. Most of the items you buy from Chinese e-commerce websites don't have a brand. And uh, you'll be able to find the same item from different manufacturers and it also makes it difficult to look up their reviews online. So the presence of a brand behind a product seems reassuring, to me at least. Now there are two knobs here on the front, one is for echo and the other is to increase and decrease the recording volume. On the bottom is the XLR port where the uh, cable goes which is provided with it. Now the unique part about this mic is that the other end of the cable is a standard male USB port. Now why is that important? Let me give you an example. I bought a condenser microphone a couple of months, almost a year ago, uh, called BM800. It's very popular out there. After it arrived, I got to know that it needs an external power supply called Phantom something, uh, which cost $95 at the time. And the mic was only $18. That was really a bummer. There were a couple of hacks to get around it, um, maybe to use a USB audio card or something like that, but the sound was still not how I wanted it. Now this mic does not need any of that. It works perfectly fine on the 5 volts it is getting from your PC and it is as simple as plug and play. I'm going to set it up right now on its stand and plug it in. It will automatically install the required drivers in a couple of seconds and you're good to go. It uh, shows up as a USB PNP device in the devices section. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. Now this is a unidirectional microphone. That means that you get the best result when you speak right into the top. And uh, usually you don't hold this sort of a mic in your hand because uh, it can pick up wind and noise if you move it around during recording. Just mount it onto the tripod and speak into it. Now how does it sound? Well, if you've watched any of my previous videos, you might notice a difference in this one because since the start of this video, I have been using the new microphone. Let me give you a comparison now. So far, I've been using this simple $10 emission headphones with microphone for all my video voiceovers. And this is how it sounds. Okay, so this is my old microphone, which I have been using for more than two years now. And even though it has been working fine, it makes me sound not exactly like me. Sometimes I try to deepen my voice to sound like the strongest Avenger. And all it does is make me sound like a mildly mature cartoon character. Now I'm gonna switch to the Fifine K056. Alright, I am back to my new microphone uh, and you can clearly make out the difference. To me, it definitely sounds more like myself. And one of the best part is this is raw sound. I haven't edited it in any way. So if you make it go through Audacity or some of the software, it is definitely going to sound even nicer. I'm going to give you some more examples for a better perspective. Uh, I'm going to read out some sentences uh, alternatively with my old and new microphone. And these sentences I got from a website uh, and these are usually used to test microphones to make sure each syllable sounds as it should. The small pup gnawed a hole in the sock. The small pup gnawed a hole in the sock. The fish twisted and turned on the bent hook. The fish twisted and turned on the bent hook. Press the pants and sew a button on the vest. Press the pants and sew a button on the vest. The swan dive was short of perfect. The swan dive was far short of perfect. Alright, I hope that was enough to give you a better idea of the sound quality. Uh, oh, and you can uh, turn up the echo knob to produce an awesome echo effect like this.
Subscribe to my booth now and turn on the bell icon or you'll have 12 days of bad luck and horror. Just kidding. But seriously, subscribe. Alright, that is it from my end. Personally, I like it and I'm planning to use it regularly from now onwards. But I would like to hear from you. Do let me know in the comments below, is it any different? More importantly, is it any better than my previous microphone? Personally, I like it and I will definitely recommend it to someone who is starting now or just looking for a decent microphone on a budget for voiceovers, gaming, podcasts, etc. I'll leave a link in the description box below in case you want to check it out. There is also a giveaway going on on my Instagram page. I am giving away an exclusive pair of Juxy Jam Sports X1 wireless earbuds. So make sure you check it out. You can find me at my booth on Instagram. Click on the thumbnails to watch my other videos or check out my YouTube channel for more. And as always, thanks for watching.